Thank y'all so much for coming out to honor somebody so dear to me. It's tragic when a life gets cut short. That's so much to look forward to in life. He loved to eat, too. He did have an appetite. Yeah, loved nuts. He stuffed them in his mouth till he gagged. Oh, that's for sure. Amen. I like it when he went. <laughs> Amen. He had a really pretty tail. Yep. He was a pretty good squirrel. I've been to a lot of funerals in my life. Some were for two-legged creatures, some were for four. Are you gonna honor his memory by hunting down that devil of a snake that killed him? I think she just ordered a hit. Hit accepted. Amen. I'll use all my skills to hunt down this venomous viper so we can administer justice. I won't sleep, I won't rest until vengeance is done. What about eat? Oh, he'll eat. He has to keep up his strength. It's the least we can do for Earl the Squirrel and give Kay a bit of closure. I will curry comb the countryside down there. It might take more than just you. I'll form a posse. Yeah, I like the sound of that. We'll call it the reckoning. I want to be in the reckoning. Calls in. I can. I'm going out of town tonight. What are you talking about? We're, we're making things right. Yeah, we need to wrap this up. I mean, let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. Good deal. I feel good now. All right, Let's I'm glad. Let's lunch. go, Kay. Well, I kind of wanted to say a few oh, words. Okay, and... we'll leave you alone with your squirrel. <laughs> this is a posse. All right, we're forming a posse. Is this thing not awesome, River? Watch this, watch this, River. Get up on two wheels. Jump! Yeah. You ready? You ready for what? We got a posse. Posse of what? We're going to kill a snake. Well, that sounds great, man. You know Kay's pet squirrel? Yeah. He gone. He dead. Hmm. This is perhaps the biggest cottonmouth moccasin ever. What? What? What are you doing? Trying to pop a wheelie. River, did you get that for Christmas? This is me and River's present together. This is what we do for fun. It's father-son time. No, River's been with his phone. He could care less about that stupid he, truck you he got. He was just driving five nah, minutes ago. he wasn't driving. Yeah. He was driving. We, we take in. turns. Now, my turns are longer because I'm, I'm bigger. Hey, River, you ever play with that truck? No, that's Dad's toy. That's what I figured. We're taking turns. It was my turn first, OK? When your mom says blood for blood, you form a posse and make things right. Put the toy up and let's go, son. Dude, this is not a toy. This is a hobby-grade vehicle. I don't know what that means. It means it's a piece of junk. Ideally, I would like to form the Magnificent Seven. But realistically, I'll take what I can get. Jeff, how much does that thing carry? Five pounds. It's actually pretty cool. It is cool. It would be cool if I was seven. Even Billy the Kid didn't play with toys. And his name was Billy the Kid. All right, are you in or out? This is serious business, Jim. Me and River are gonna stay here and keep doing some daddy sun time. But good luck on your quest. Hey, babe. Hey. I need you to come help me clean out this closet. I can't, baby. I. Why? I, I'm, I'm in a posse with Jace. We gotta kill snakes. You're in a what? Posse. It's a long story. I love you. I'll Seriously? be back. Seriously? Yeah. River, have fun with the truck, buddy. You can't wear that. Oh, yeah. Let me go change. Get changed. We'll be back. Is that pathetic or what? Rebecca, I'm looking over the numbers of Duck and Dressin. I've noticed that the top selling t shirt we had, you took it out of the inventory. What? It was the best seller the, we had. The Monroe and West Monroe shirts. Right. Everyone was coming in to get it, and like they weren't buying anything else. So I was like giving them a chance to buy something else. So I took it out. You took the hottest selling thing we had, took it off the shelf so that people would try to buy other things? Yes. OK. All right, let's don't do that. You can probably guess by looking at me, I'm not really in the clothes. So when Rebecca came to me asking for advice about her clothing store, I knew that what I lacked in fashion sense, I'd make up for with business sense. Let's say you have a hamburger place, and people love your hamburgers. Mm -hmm. And you took the hamburger away so that maybe they would order something else. They may not would come back. They might get the hot dog, so. 
Unfortunately, it's starting to seem like Rebecca knows as much about business as I do about clothes. But I think the idea is good, though, right? No, it's not. If I can't figure out how to help her, this fashionista will be saying hasta la vista to her business. Do you want to just come by the store and check it out? That's a great idea. I think I need to come, check everything out, look at your inventory. Pardon. Okay. I need this. Jace, I'm in a meeting right now. We're forming yeah. a posse. You want to ride with her? Put my machete back up. That's kind of dangerous. Yeah, that's why I need hey, it. We're forming a posse. A posse of what? This is a posse. Hey, this is a posse. What is a posse? Don't ask. I'm going to kill that snake. Uh, is this about the squirrel? Yeah, the kid yeah. case pet hey, you squirrel. You know how your mama is. You yeah, shoot yeah. squirrels and eat squirrels. Yeah, but hey, this was your mama's pet squirrel. There's a difference. There's a difference. What's Big the difference? difference? I don't know those squirrels. I know this squirrel. Yeah. You're going to kill it with a machete? That's what he's going to use. Yep. I'm going to use the pistol. Are you riding with us or not? No. Well, that's good. It works for us anyway. Yep. What do you got to do? I've got a business meeting with Rebecca, so I'm sorry I can't that's, ride. That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. I need the rest of the day off. Go ahead and take care of Becca's problem at the store. We're running we'll be, a business. You know, forming a posse and taking like care of the snake that killed him. OK? Yeah, posse. All right, let's go. We're forming a posse. All right, what time do you get to work? Uh, it varies. How does it vary? Oh, well, depending on, like, if it's rainy or. Oh, boy. What time do you open? Around 11. 10, actually, 10. See those water marks on the tree? Uh-huh. All that water came down, and now it's just a snake-infested bit of water. So be on the lookout. We're in the danger zone. Hey, let me borrow you a machete. I, I got to get something. All right. Don't hurt yourself, sir. Hold my, hold my tape. Yep. So we're almost here. I, mean, I know. Making sure. Huh? So, what? What are you doing? I'm going to show you all a trick. You making a spear, sir? No. All right, look, young folks today are too focused on smartphones, smart watches, and smart water. I'm not about anything smart. Okay. Okay. Good grief. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, these methods are tried and true, okay? So, hey, look, when I try them, these idiots will see that what I say is true. Okay, here's what you do. What are you doing? Do what? Look, when you're handling snakes, you gotta think like a snake. It's the only thing I can think of is You can actually charm snakes to you. That's how you get worms. What's the difference? Oh, there's a big difference. No. These guys think they're snake experts. But look, I'm the only one on the ground rubbing a stick. Explain that. Ty, that ain't gonna work. What are you talking about? <coughs> He's worn out from cutting down the stick. Whatever. All right, me and Jeff will take the left. You and Cole take the right. Cole, watch on the riverbanks. Stepping light. You probably see one laid up down there. I'm telling you. Good night. Look right there. Uh oh. Did you get him? He's dead. Was he in the water or on the bank? He was up under this log. But he was on the bank, right? Yeah, he was on the bank. Well, hey, he was coming up the bank to them sticks. I told you it'd work. They're water moccasins. Boy, I tell you one thing. All right, boys. He is dead. We ain't got but 200 to go, boys. Hey, playtime's over. This is big boy hunting. This is serious business here, buddy. Um, do you work here? Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me if you have a medium in this? Not in this color. So mm -hmm. how much do you pay Sadie? Oh, I don't pay her. She works for free. That's smart. Have a great day. You too. All right. What happened? We didn't have her size. See, you may have lost that customer forever. You got to close the deal. Rebecca clearly has an eye for style, but I'm here to fix what's underneath all that, the business operations. It's just like in fishing. If he's not in the boat, it doesn't count, right? Teach a man to fish. No, that's not, I'm, we're but not. But you just said, like. <sighs> Look, I'm just saying, there's a reason Duck Commander is doing so well. It's because I know what I'm doing, and Rebecca could learn a trick or two from her old man. It's like in baseball, you got a closer. The guy comes in to do what? To hit the ball. No, he's not hitting the ball, he's throwing the ball. So you're teaching people how to play baseball now? We're not. I guess we could both stand to learn from each other. Wouldn't mind figuring out how to convince these guys in the duck call room to work pro bono. All right, Dad. Why don't the next person that comes in, you try to sell to them? That's good. Piece of cake, deal. I will reel them right in. Wait, we're fishing again? We're not fishing. How often do customers come in here? 
Sometime can be like an hour or two. Are you kidding? Oh, sleepy. Oh, is there someone here? You're oh, up. Cool. Don't be too pushy, please. Hey, how we doing? Hey. Good to see you. I'm Willie. Nice Good to meet see you. you. Yeah, I'm new here. Okay. What yeah. we looking for? Some clothes? My whole life, I've been trained to sell and close deals. The first thing you got to remember is this: know your product. I've been looking for raw denim. Hmm. Probably all raw, I would imagine. Most of it's just cotton. Um, it's a certain type of denim. You're not supposed to wash it. Oh. Number two is add-on, upsell, or cross-sell. We don't have exactly raw. I'll probably what check What about back. a shirt? Could I? I was really just looking for the raw denim today, so. Um, and last but not least, know your customer. If you show some effort in getting to know them, they will remember you for a lifetime. All right, thank you. You good? Yeah. Cool tattoos, I like that. I got two myself. <laughs> It'll keep them coming back. Trust me on this one. That was y'all's fault because you didn't have whatever she wanted, raw denim. Never heard well, of it. Well, but you say upselling. OK, you cannot help us with women selling. You are not very good at that. But this is my plan. We give Dad, like, a makeover and put it on our Instagram, like, Transformation Thursday, you know. We'll do and, a like, photo shoot. Yeah. Maybe Promote we could it. even get, yeah. like, Jace inside. Yeah. Like, Use your status. Anybody. That would yeah. be awesome. All right, fine. Whatever it takes to help y'all, I'll do it. OK, perfect. I don't know about Thank the guys. We'll have to ask them. OK. All right. Thank you. Oh, raw denim. There's been quite a few snakes crossing up here. Look, there's nothing right here. Good grief. Look, there's another one right here. Be on the lookout. There's a lot across this yep, levee. Yep. Be on the lookout, son. Yep, you might have something up there. If you see the grass move. Whoa, right there. So I saw them. Snakes. Oh, I think one got me. No, it wasn't me, no, I think no. I got yeah. snake. Oh, yeah, he got No, uh, they wouldn't scratch you. He'll pop you, trust me. You got yeah. that anti venom? I don't have any anti venom. Why don't you have it? Because it costs $10,000. I ain't going to spend $10,000. Watch where you step. My arm's going numb, dude. You didn't get bit, OK? I did. He no. grazed me. I'm telling you. You done lost your mind. You want to send Cy in to confirm it? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. No. Right. I'm scared of him. I done told you. All right, here's what we did. We all go up to the boat. You stay behind me, Si. Cole, you're going to go around the left flank. Yep. You'll come around to the front end of the boat. When you lift up the front end of the boat, I'm going to shoot the first ones by your feet. So don't go forward. Just trust me. I will kill them, and I won't shoot your foot. I don't know about that. There are times in life that demand quick, swift, assured action. Cole, you'll circle around to the back. Anything that leaves, just start blasting. What if we just blew the whole thing up? I like that better. I don't want to get shot. I've already gotten bit. Yep, you didn't get bit. There are also times in life that demand dynamite. And Cole is right. This is definitely one of those times. But you still got to go up to the boat to get the dynamite off. Well, what if we used your remote control truck? That way, we're not in any danger. I think it's too expensive, and I love that thing, river love. Well, hey, look, it's, it's a, a toy. toy. No, hobby grade. You strap dynamite on anything, and it no longer becomes a toy. Yeah. Yep, it's a stupid toy. I'll buy you another one. Promise you'll replace it. Yes. Me and Jason buy you a new toy. Sounds good. I'll split it with you. All right. Look, we put the dynamite in the bed of the truck. Plus, look, I got a pint of napalm jelly in my vehicle. Why are you driving around with that in your truck? Hey, you never know when you're going to use it. And hey, right now, we need it. Well, let's just hurry up, because I'm about to faint, man. This venom, Whew. That's not a snake bite. All right, let's go get the truck. I'll get the dynamite. The dynamite, so I got the napalm. the napalm. Hey, we'll make a fireball like you ain't seen lately. All right, take it slow. That's right. Plus, don't be jerking it. You're sacrificing this toy for the greater good. It's easy for you to say. I love this toy. My name is Summer. You're one weird dude, Jep. Low and steady wins the race. Jep, what are you doing? Jep. Are you drunk? Why are you taking a right? Look. You got to go straight, son. Wouldn't it be cool if right when it goes under the boat, one of them, like, tries to bite it? Like, hey, sink your fangs into Try this. Get some, of, get some of this there, buddy. Hey. I'm going in the boat. All right, take it in the boat. Right there. All right, he's got it under the boat, boys. Perfect. Well, let's blow this puppy up then. This is definitely the most unusual method that I've ever been a part of. 
on the removal of snakes. But it's definitely the most cool. Let's do this. Die. Awesome. Seeing the ball of fire and smelling the smell of burning snake, it does something to a man. That sends my beard. Wow. Send your beard. And to share that with your son, this is Manhood 101. Well, I guess that took care of that. All right. K-Squirrel has been avenged. Good idea, Carl. In the big way, boys. Anybody for uh, crispy hors d'oeuvres? No, you can't eat those. Hey, you might can. You might like snake. I, I want know. my five hundred dollars by tomorrow. By the way, five hundred dollars. What? For what? what? That cost? It was a hobby grade, dude. You spent five hundred dollars on hobby that? Hobby grade. I'm keeping the remote. He's keeping the rope for summer. Summer is no longer, Jip. Move on to winter. Oh, where are these guys at? There they there are. They it's are. about time. Where have y'all been? I've been killing snakes. Y'all look rough. Jeff, what happened to you? What's the bandage for? I got bit. What? I'm he didn't super get bit. Super dizzy right he now. He didn't get bit. Yeah, I did. I don't he think you'd be stick. standing there if you got bitten by I'm a snake. I'm super yeah. wizzy. You need to sit down. He didn't get bit by a snake. Stick stuck him. All right, were y'all ready to dress up? What do you mean, dress up? They're putting clothes on us that are fancy. Look, I don't know about you, Jay, but I don't do dress up. You're gonna do it one time, it'll be fun. Jeff, what do you think? Jeff, about to pass out. Let's just go back there. All right, let's go back do, there. Yeah, we have photographer Look at the coming clothes. already. I've done a lot of things working for you, but this takes the cake. OK, so what's our vision for the shoot here? Let them be themselves. Let them like be themselves. Okay. I don't want to be like super set up either. Absolutely. But... OK, so let them come out, do their thing. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, OK. Wow. All right, Jace. Wow. That's good. <laughs> The guys look amazing. You know, these clothes make our guys look a little younger. Oh! Whoa! Look at the glasses! The glasses. Oh, oh, your teacup glasses. matches your shirt. Even Cy. Yeah, I mean, Cy looks like he's like 55, which is young for him. <laughs> OK. Hey, Jeff. Shark dress man. Jeff. You look the same. This That's is your normal That's clothes. Me. Jeff actually didn't look that different. I know, I thought he looked exactly <laughs> the same as every yeah. other day. That's pretty much what he wears. <laughs> oh. oh, there you go. Yeah. Wait, I thought you were going to lose the bandana. Oh, a bandana. I'm not sure about the glasses. This should really help generate some buzz for Rebecca's store. Yeah, I'm just glad there's photographic evidence of this. You know what? This would be a really funny Christmas card. Or blackmail. Yeah, I don't think the sunglasses are working for you. Like, do this one, maybe. <laughs> his hat is sitting on top of his head. I guess he just have a weird no shit time. head. It's just a big head. I think we should do, like, a group shot. Do a group shot? Yeah. OK, perfect. So I know you guys are all dressed a little funny, but can we just take a step closer into each other? Funny. That'd be OK. Then the one, two, three. That looks good. Yeah, great stuff, guys. I should do, like, candid, just, like, laugh. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you're talking <laughs> to each other. Yeah, 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 give me a laugh. Right? Perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, player. Willie, be natural. You just not. You gotta just be natural. That's not natural. Yep, right. yep, that that's yes. Oh, yes. No. Get more, oh. more, Willie. Yes. Burning my eyes. Hey, look. There's not many people that know this, but between the military and going to college, I was actually an amateur male model. You're gonna walk towards me. Do a slow walk. You start walking, guys. Let me prove it to you, okay? Here's some of my signature poses from way back when. Like this one I call the bald eagle. White smoke. Cruel intention. Lips incorporated. Crunchy taco. Playground slide. Solar eclipse. Honey bunches of oats. The inquisitive. <laughs> Joker. I need you to astronaut. All right, everybody walk towards me. You ready? One, two, three, go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Robot. See, now, now you're roboting robot. and not astronauting. I know, so. but that's way cooler. Okay. I'm the Cindy Crawford, OK, of bearded, camouflage-wearing, southern senior citizen hunters. I've been saying this for years. 
Are we done? We've got about we're five. Yeah, like, yeah. what do you think? Do you think we I got mean, all we're of them? Oh, absolutely. I didn't put any deodorant on. And I oh, oh you I don't, know. You don't have to tell yeah. me that. I, I, yeah. Yeah. We, we can already, smell. We, we already it. knew that. I okay, think. cool. I think we got, got it. You're good. Right. I thank y'all so much. Wait, I do really one, Rebecca, do help. one with you in the middle. Willie's starting to sweat through his shirt. So okay, hurry. One more. Unless you want to get it. All right. Seriously. Last one, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. I love it. All right. Thank y'all so much. Y'all look great. Y'all look nice guys. fabulous. Oh, Babe, you look hot. Yeah, I am hot. I'm sweating profusely. Let's pray. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for this day and this food and just every little thing you bless us for and help us just love you and love one another. It's in your son's name, amen. 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 Well, again, well, amen. Let's get on this food. Oftentimes in life, you're faced with situations where making a small sacrifice can help benefit the greater good like blowing up your favorite toy car to help clear the land of dangerous snakes, or putting on clothes you'd never wear to help promote a family member's business. In times like these, you have to forget about your needs and think about the big picture. Even if that picture would be posted all over social media for everyone to see you looking ridiculous in tight pants and a hat that doesn't fit. Man, these skinny jeans are way too tight. As if you would fit in skinny jeans, fat boy. So basically we just wasted a whole day. How's that different from any other day?